I became fascinated by paleontology because it allows a kind of window into the deep past and gives a glimpse into long gone biota of Earth history. And I loved animals and fossils since early childhood. And luckily we lived in an area of Germany which is very rich in fossils. And so I could collect with my parents already fossils like uh, these Jurassic ammonites. And uh, since I always wanted to become a scientist and a naturalist in the classical sense, 19th century sense of the word naturalist, uh, I unsurprisingly later studied biology and paleontology. It is often believed that the fossil record is great support for Darwin's theory. Actually, this is not the case at all. If we look at Darwin's theory, it makes certain predictions like gradualism, that everything came into being very continuously and that there were small changes building up to big changes. But what the fossil record says is actually the contrary. What we find is not gradual developments, but saltations. We don't find stepwise building up, but sudden appearance of new forms and new body plans. And that conflicting evidence was actually already known to Charles Darwin. And this problem of conflicting evidence by the fossil record is still with us today. And that's one of the reasons why Stephen Jay Gould uh, said, said it's a kind of trade secret of paleontologists until today. The reason that many Darwinists think that the fossil record really supports uh, Darwin's theory are the following points. One is that the fossil record seems to establish deep time and change over time. The other point is that the fossil record is not chaotic, it is ordered and it is ordered taxonomically. That means if you go up the geological column from deep to upwards and from older to younger, you find overall a pattern from getting from less complex to more complex, from less similar to modern flora and fauna to more similar to modern flora and fauna. And finally, you have this kind of transitional fossils, which seem to be intermediate in anatomy. And sometimes you can even arrange them in transitional series like the horse series. But, and that is the problem, all this evidence granted as best establishes common ancestry. What it does not establish is any kind of unguided process by random mutation and natural selection as it was claimed by Darwin. The fossil record indeed contradicts Darwin's theory by these saltations and discontinuities. So uh, it's not at all true that the fossil record confirms Darwin's theory and Darwin's prediction of gradualism was not accidental. Actually, uh, Darwin mentioned six times in his book Origin of Species, Natura non facet saltus, nature doesn't make jumps, because he knew saltations would require some kind of miraculous interventions. And saltations are the thing that the fossil record really documents are the things that happened in the history of life.